PowerShell lets us create objects from the .NET library that we can use in our scripts to automate doing really cool things. And one of those things is interfacing with websites. And we can do that using the web client uh, .NET library. And to do that, we create an object. And in this case, mine will be WC. And then using the new object commandlet, we specify which library we want to use. In this case, we've got web client. So I'm going to run this. And then I'll show you that web client has a bunch of different things that we can do. We have properties to look at. We have uh, methods that we can work with. And the ones that we're going to focus on are the downloading. So let's go to download. So we have uh, download file and download string. Download string lets you download the data of a website, so the raw HTML. And you'll notice that I have some right here. I'm uh, using this URI, which is Google and it's doing a search. Uh, you can do a search from the URI and in this case we're searching for PowerShell and web client. And down here I'm taking their code and I'm putting it in this variable by calling the web client and then using download string and providing it that URI. So now in this variable called HTML code I have all the HTML code from that search. So that's, I mean, that's not really useful right now. I can't do anything special with it. I can set it to an HTML file uh, using set content and then supplying it the HTML code. And you'll see if I run this, it will create a little file called test.html. And I can bring it over here. And you'll see that this is the results. This is what we would see if we had typed that into the browser and we're looking at it locally. So I can't, it doesn't go anywhere if I click on these. If I click on these, it works. It'll take me to maps and it's, I don't think it's going to find PowerShell Web Client anywhere on a map, but it tries. So that is how uh, you can download the, the data of a website. And what if we want to download a file? Well, we have that other method download file and this one needs a local file so we're gonna provide it LOC that is defined up here and it should download a file from oh let's change the URI it's gonna download this file from this website I just it's the first it's one of the first PowerShell images that comes up on uh, Google image search and we're providing uh, the URI and the location and we're saying download file so let's try that so now I should have the file in the location where I downloaded it and you can see this is what we just downloaded here on the local machine so that is how you can use .NET and PowerShell to automate interfacing with websites and you just use the new object and web client. So thanks for watching.